ATMs targeted across the country. The Secret Service warning of a wave of so-called jackpotting attacks. The modern-day bank robberies get their name from the way the money spews from the targeted ATMs. A CBS News Magdalena Doris joins us live from the Upper West Side with more on how hackers are able to pull off this illegal payday. Maggie? Good morning, Chris and Mary. They usually attack or go after ATMs that look like this, something that's outside, a standalone ATM and not typically at a bank. And the way that these uh, ATM hijackers are able to get away with all of this is that they dress as repairmen. Typically, the Secret Service telling us one person will come in and mess with the, uh, the computer system inside the ATM and then a friend will come back later and cash out. And that is why they call it the jackpot. This is a demonstration video released by the MIT uh, technology uh, team. This shows uh, what federal agents are calling this jackpot operation. They say the money's cleared out quickly. In about 20 seconds, they get about 40 bills. Um, and this has netted thieves more than $1 million in the last month just here in the U.S. alone. Here's how they do it. They use a key that can be easily bought on eBay and then open up the ATM facade. That's when they unplug a red Ethernet cable so the machine can't send an error back to its system telling them something's going on. The hacker then attaches a laptop where they can wire the ATM to dispense cash, and that's when that secondary person comes in, and they, of course, take advantage of that jackpot. Well, the Secret Service tells us this has been happening throughout the country most recently in New England, and that there was an, an alert sent to federal agents telling them that in the next 15 days there may be more ATM hacks like this one. So, of course, they are on the lookout for people who are doing this. But I do have to mention, if you're watching this morning, you shouldn't be worried about your specific bank account. They are targeting just the money that is already inside the ATM and not withdrawing from individuals. We're live on the Upper West Side. Magdalena Doris, CBS 2 News.